I'm sorry. I love you. Those were the final words Shawn Michaels said to Ric Flair before ending his long in-ring career in one of the most emotional and heartfelt moments in WWE history. It is what we are going to be talking about on today's episode of Wrestling Nostalgia. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Wrestling Nostalgia. Uh, I'm your host, the Royal Rumbler. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be uh, reacting to uh, po possibly the most emotional and heartfelt matches in WWE history. And in it's in possibility as the greatest match in WWE history. You guys know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about Wrestle the WrestleMania 24 showdown between Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels, where if Ric Flair lost, he'd be forced to retire. Where emotions and reputations and egos and the buzz of the crowd and the performance all collide to create a lasting effect that ripples the beginning of the contest into the echoes of the universe forever. This happens rarely in the WWE anymore, and you'll know when you've witnessed it. Such, such, a, such a moment happened at WrestleMania 24 between two icons of the industry. The story, and the story they told, though, an art form known as wrestling will never be forgotten. I now present to you one of the greatest matches in WWE history. In an unknown location, in an unknown reality, there lies a universe so rich and dense with history of the history, the ghosts of the, those long forgotten, those remembered, and those that rose above everything else can be heard through the whispers of the wind you listen If you happen to find yourself standing at the peak of its highest mountain, you can hear this quote echoing for eternity for all to hear, for all to remember. This quote is, I'm sorry, and With these words whispered, Shawn Michaels unleashed a devastating rendition of sweet chin music into the head of one of the all-time greats, the pioneers and legends of the wrestling industry, Rick. The kick would explode decades upon decades of championship memories, wheeling, dealing, styling, profiling, and the heart and soul of wrestling's long last glory days across the ring with Ric Flair floating. It was symbolic, it was heartfelt, it was As Shawn Michaels laid across the body of his longtime co-worker, his teacher, and his friend, the referee gently counted to three. And with that, the WWE career of Ric Flair, who once proclaimed with such passion that to be the man, you gotta beat the man. Michaels would hug the lifeless body of Ric Flair offering his condolences, his respect, and admiration, but quickly leave the ring, visibly upset. A crowd of 74,000 people would rise as one and applaud as he gradu as Flair gradually rose to his feet, embraced his family sitting ringside, acknowledged the crowd, and embarked on a lonely, a deeply satisfying journey of the long WrestleMania ramp, followed by a chorus of WOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOO
Ric Flair began his wrestling career in 1972, and over the next 30 years, Ric Flair would go on to win 16 World Heavyweight Champions. While these are the only ones recognized, I don't think I'm too far off in saying he probably held nearly double that. There's no arguing that his place in wrestling history and lore gives him a proper place in the upper Elkons in the WWE Kingdom. Like all good things, it must come to an end. And on March 30th, 2008, all the showcase of the at the Showcase of the Immortals, WrestleMania 24, Ric Flair's WWE career came to an end at the hands of another living legend, Shawn Michaels. In a classic bout that showcased what kind of storytelling could be told during a simple wrestling. Upon his return to the ring, a year earlier in 2007, Ric Flair was given an ultimate by WWE owner and chairman, Mr. McMahon. It was time for Ric Flair to let go of the business he held so closely to his heart, and that the next match Ric Flair lost would be his last. Ric Flair then began his loss, aka his retirement. Week in and week out on television and pay-per-views, defeating each of the opponents who tried to claim the state as being the one to deal the death blow to the career of Rick. With the build-up to WrestleMania 24 in a full swing during the early spring of 2008, it was a known fact among casual fans, wrestling pundits, and the entire wrestling community that Ric Flair was on his way to retirement. The only question that was left unanswered was who would be the one to retire one of the greatest, if not THE greatest, wrestler in the world on the grandest stage, Shawn Michaels, who earlier had let the people of the universe know that Flair was going to be leading the Hall of Fame inductee class of 2008 and was issued the challenge from Ric Flair. Reluctant to accept the challenge, Michaels finally accepted, due in part of heavy encouragement from Ric Flair. The final waltz for Ric Flair was set. Shawn Michaels vs. Ric Flair in a career-threatening match was scheduled for WrestleMania. What better place, time, opponent, and stage could there possibly be to the end of the career WrestleMania 24 would be the burial grounds for the career of Ric Flair, a fitting send-off that would be packed with emotion, passion, nostalgia. Everyone knew Ric Flair's career would end that night. Something special happened. While many believe there's no such thing as magic, the WWE reached down into its always boiling cauldron and cast a spell on the 74,000 people in attendance, and the millions watching. A match that had an obvious, logical conclusion, already known to the majority watching, did the unthinkable. It made us believe it. It made us think, perhaps for a brief, suspended moment in time, that Flair might actually win and keep his career alive. The match was, from the onset, was, while not the exquisite technical ring psychology lacked marvel that many look for when determining the greatest matches of all time, the pure joy of watching these two men exchange tops, chops across the chest as the crowd, in unison, followed the open-aired stadium with cries of, it's enough to put a smile on the biggest skeptics. The sight of seeing Michaels fly through the air and crash, also known as nearly cutting him in half, through the announce table on an attempt moonsault in the fleeting moments of joy and flair in desperation, locked in his padded figure four leg lock on Michaels for nearly 30 seconds filled with passion and revel from the crowd. 
the fist-pumping moment when Flair unexpectedly and uncharacteristically went onto the top rope and actually connected with a flying crossbar. The electrifying moment when Michaels slapped Flair in the face, drawing a trace of blood from the mouth of Ric Flair. The following stare down, and Flair simply responded with, It's only blood. It's only blood, brother. A heartfelt moment when Shawn Michaels, early in the match, hesitated on a wide open chance at Sweet Chin Music, was a perfect example of the story being told. The story of Michaels, the man who was torn between his competitive spirit and his love for a man who had chosen this fight, this path, this destiny. Flair was clearly manned, was clearly manned during this, the course of this match, as he should. The story of Ric Flair, a man gasping at the last breaths of his career, wanted, needed to prove to himself he could still compete with the current legends of the industry. The crowd who supported Ric Flair with numerous, nearly 20-foot signs is spread across the arena, simply reading, Woo! We're in a frenzy for the entire story. I use the word story because that's what we witnessed. There. Not so much a match, but the story that captured the hearts of millions. We all know the ending to Titanic or the ending to any other story based around facts and history. We all knew the inevitable conclusion to this story as well. As Flair and the days stumbled to his feet, Michael had already tuned up the band, set the orchestra, only way to cue the maestro, look deep into the eyes of desperate, devoted, Flair caught his eyes, raised his hand to a fighting position, and with his last act, signaled from Michaels. Michaels solemnly obliged, but before the final blow, whispered into the WWE Universe, I'm sorry. Okay. And Shawn Michaels would hit Sweet Chin Media to end the long-lasting career of Ric Flair. In the most emotional moments in WWE history. It could be considered one of the greatest matches in WWE history. Not because of the, not because of the hard hittingness of the match, but the storytelling that was going on. Now, uh, before you guys go, I uh, just like we do in every single wrestling nostalgia episode, I'm going to give you uh, some audio of how the fans reacted and how Shawn Michael and everybody and how it was when you watched it. So, without further ado, this is the audio from the end of the Shawn Michaels vs. Ric Flair match at WrestleMania 24. Okay guys, so this is uh, the end of an era or the famous words, I'm sorry I love you moment of the Shawn Michaels vs. Ric Flair match. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Wrestling of the Wrestling Dolja. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Two.
Sawi.